everybody, welcome to the homestead. So have a really interesting episode for you today, video for you today. Uh, I was on uh, the news today, looking at the news. I got to check out every morning usually. And I'm looking at uh, our president now wanting to encourage, highly encourage people to open the schools, to bring in uh, the students back into the public school system. And I, you know, often, you know, I really think sometimes this guy plays 3D chess while the rest of the world is still rereading the instructions for checkers because he has now got the Democrats against putting children back into schools because what happens is in politics, and this is the way with whatever party you're affiliated with, doesn't matter Republican or Democrat. If you want something, the other party doesn't. So you push this, they are against it. You're for this, they're against it. It's easy. And then you switch, you're, you're now for this, and now they're against that. So it's like, it's, it's whatever, it's so predictable. I love it. I love watching the show sometimes, even though, you know, I can get wrapped up in it. And you too, you probably can too sometimes. And, and a lot of us just try to avoid it and shut it off. And I do that too sometimes. I just have to avoid it and put it out of my mind because it just becomes too much. But today, our president has said we must get children back into schools. And if you remember, I did that video a while back on homeschooling and how home homeschooling, the cat is now out of the bag. It has now become something that people are really embracing. They say could be up to 40% of people who are out of school, the public schools may not return. They may actually go into homeschooling. The 40% of parents, are, parents say that they're now interested in homeschooling. Now, let's just say that there's, let's just say it's not even 40%. Let's just say it's like 1% of people, because there's already a large majority of America who do homeschooling, okay? Let's just say 1% of that 40% says, you know what, I'm, I'm not, we're going to do homeschooling, and it'll, it'll be higher than that. But that's, that's remarkable. That's a huge hit. And the, the public education, the educators, I mean, not, not the teachers, but I'm talking about the higher-ups, they're desperate to get the kids back in school because they know this. They know that people are really looking at homeschooling because the parents are involved now and they're looking at the curriculum of their students and they're going, oh my goodness, this is what you're learning? This is so dumbed down. My kids are better than this. I want to do homeschool. Or they're looking at the, the curriculum and they're going, I cannot believe you know that this is what you're doing and you're wasting your time on it. Or so something like that, and and they're 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 beside themselves with the curriculum and how horribly inac inadequate it is, and they're looking for alternatives now. Homeschooling for the win, homeschooling for the win. Now, all right, check this out. So I'm I'm gonna stop what I'm doing right now and just give you. Listen, my kids have always both both of them have struggled with learning their times tables, so I'm gonna sideline off into this. I signed up again, my youngest for Times Tales. Uh, if you do not know what Times Tales is, check it out, link in the description below. And my oldest had a real hard time memorizing his Times Tables. So if you're into homeschooling and you want your child to memorize Times Tales, uh, Times Tables, and, and you can do it with Times Tales, and it's really super easy. It's almost so easy that you're like, really, is this gonna work? It does. It's amazing. Uh, Jamie uh, had just, uh, she loved this program. She could not believe how effective it was for our oldest. And now my youngest, seven years old, is learning his times tales, times tables with times tales and uh, getting good benefit out from it. In fact, I just printed off today's worksheets. I have them over here somewhere in, the, in my drawer. Say so right there for my seven year old. So I've got those ready to go for him this evening. Uh, we're going to be doing those. And um, if you're interested, in your child, even if it's a young child, it's really geared for small children. You can start early. And my oldest was still having trouble with it uh, at the sixth grade level. Sixth grade level, he was still having trouble memorizing his times tables. And we got him on this and boom, it was like overnight click. It was fantastic. So older kids, younger kids, times tales, link in the description below. Check that out. Sign up. Uh, any purchase you make goes to help the homestead. And so I want to I want to just share that with you guys because it's really been better. And I, I would share this. We shared this even before we signed up as an affiliate. So um, it's that good. I would share it regardless if I was an affiliate or not. Uh, check that out. So back to the homeschool thing. Here's the article over at the AP. It says President Donald Trump on Tuesday launched an all out effort pressing state and local officials to reopen schools this fall, arguing that some are keeping schools closed, not because of risk from the coronavirus pandemic, but for political reasons. 
They think it's going to be good for them politically, so they keep the schools closed. See, there are people out there really who just want to let the country burn because they believe that it's going to get this president out of office. And it might. It might. That might totally work. I don't know. Right, we're going to have to wait and see if that's going to be the case. But there are people really who would rather this country burn um, you know, than see this president get another four years. Uh, the White House Roundtable gathered health and education leaders from across the nation who said schools and colleague, colleagues are, colleges are ready to open this fall and can do so safely. They argued that the risk of keeping students at home outweigh any risk tied to the coronavirus, saying students need access to meal programs and mental and behavioral health services. See, the, the thing is, the, these, these leaders are seeing that so many people are moving to homeschool and that there, are, there, is, so, there is an abundance, ladies and gentlemen, an abundance of curriculums out there that tailor every every conceivable different makeup of children to because children are different. You have some children who learn better this way. You have some children who learn better that way. And there are just an abundance of curriculums uh, that people love to use for homeschool. And so, man, it's a real threat to these because people these people survive. Uh, 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 they live in really posh uh, living standards. They have really posh living standards because of the amount of money they make in the education industry. Just an amazing amount of money can be made. And it's all on tax dollars. And so you lose students to homeschool, you lose those tax dollars. And guess what? That puts your posh living at risk, high risk. Amazing things happening here right now. And the reality is, I don't see how this can happen. Now, you guys leave a comment below. You let me know what you think. Leave a comment below on this because here's the deal. The reality is some of these teachers are elderly. They're the ones who are most at risk. The children are not at risk. The, the, the amount of children who have been, who've been sickened by this virus is just barely rec- you know, on the charts because it's so low. Uh, and I know there are some who have been, but it's, it's rare. It's rare. And so, but the, a lot of the teachers, a lot of the administrators, a lot of people who work in the education system are in that risk. So how are you going to do that? How are you going to keep them safe? Are you really going to, I mean, a lot of people have made the point on social media, how are you going to um, keep these kids with behavioral issues with their mask on and and the social distancing that has to happen and the plexiglass that has to be installed in all these classrooms now just in a couple months or less than a month and a half? How are you going to do all that? I mean, this is a huge logistical nightmare, not to mention, you know, dealing with all the changes that have to happen. See, the school officials are like, we have just... Let's just make it the goal to get the kids back into school. You know, I mean, but the point of school is to learn something. You're not going to be able to teach them anything when you have all of these distractions and issues that you have to deal with. And, and, and not only that, but like what happens, like for instance, if elderly are at risk, how many children do you know that are being raised? You know, they don't go home to mom and dad. They go home to grandma and grandpa or just say grandma. How many children do you know that are raised just by grandma? Well, grandmas are in the higher risk categories. How are you going to send your children to an incubator that may have this virus and then send them back home to grandma? Who's at risk? Because the children might not be affected, but they may carry home the virus to someone who could be affected. There is tons of landmines to navigate in this in this. I just, I don't see it. I, and, and, and really the reality is this, this whole thing is, is just silly and stupid. Um, but the people who are at most risk are, are, are going to be affected at this by this and not the children. Um, so I posted on social media, um, it was on Facebook, this meme here today. Uh, it says, COVIDiot. COVIDiot. What's a COVIDiot? A COVIDiot is a person who is mathematically challenged and lacking critical thinking skills, relies on corporate media to tell them what to think. They adopt irrational behavior such as wearing a face shield to protect them from a virus that has a 0.2% fatality rate. And right there, that got the comments rolling in, right? I mean, right now we're at 93 comments. Let's go ahead and refresh that. Oh, we're up to 100. Oh, we're up to 110 comments, 207 shares. People are really unfollowing, Zach, unfollowing. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Bye. <sighs> oh, crazy. So um, that's good. Yep, I'm putting this on a shirt. <laughs> yep, time to I unfollow as well. Missed the old videos. Um, 
there is so many, I mean, look, you read the comments. I love the comments. Consider me gone. This was supposed to be a homesteading page, not a political platform. Stacy McAllister Carpenter, it's an American homesteading page and we don't like commie pinkos, so bye. I got some angry faces. Ooh, I got one angry face. Well, one's better than none, I guess. Um, what's, what's some of these other ones? Sign of the sheeple. That's a good one. <gasps> oh, okay. Dude, where are you sourcing your information? Do you have comprehension challenges or is this a case of willful ignorance? Disappointing to say the least. Sharon K. McDaniel, get a calculator and head over to the CD web, CDC website. Have some fun. And if you do that, you can absolutely do that. You can go to the CDC website and here you have 3 million cases of the highly contagious novel coronavirus. And then you scroll down and you get the deaths. 131,000 deaths. And if you do the calculations on that, you get a, bit, a little bit less than, it's like 4%. 4%. You go to the calculator here, it's 4.36% survival. That, that's the mortality rate, okay? So you have a, basically a 95%, when you do the calculation, it's over a 95% survival rate. Now, a 95, now just keep that in mind, a 95% survival rate. We ruined an entire economy. Millions of people out of jobs. We ruined an entire, everyone out of schools. We don't even know if we're going to get the schools back in order for a virus, a stupid virus that has a, a 4% mortality rate, a 95% survival rate. Now, when you include the people who have the antibodies, like George Floyd, for instance, old George Floyd, he died from police brutality and they tested him during the autopsy and found that he had COVID. He had had COVID. He had the antibodies in his system. When you add in people like old George Floyd, who have had the, who have had this and have never been tested, who have never shown any symptoms, have never been to a hospital, you end up with like a 99.99% survival rate. Because there are tons, of, they're not even including those in the numbers. The people who have had the antibodies. It's a 99% survival rate. We have destroyed an entire economy over a virus with a 99% survival rate. Absolute insanity. So yeah, Sharon K. McDaniel, I don't have any comprehension challenges. I know math. And you can head over to the CDC website. Have some fun. <laughs> this is why the world laughs at America. Oh, yeah, they are laughing. Someone is not good at math. 0%. 0.7% infection rate, 5% mortality rate in the U.S., <coughs> 10 to 16% abroad. Well, it's only that way because they don't, they are not as good as math as we are. No, it's not bad math, uh, David Cook. It's actually good math. It's a 4% survival rate just by the CDC numbers, or mortality rate, just by the CDC numbers. And again, when you add in the people with the antibodies, it's a 99% survival rate. Absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. The, the comments are rolling in. It's great fun. Head over to the Facebook page and join in on the fun and, uh, you know, get, get yourself some of that. Okay, before we go, I just want to throw this out there. Hey, look, if you're re looking for some really good recipes, um, I got a promo going on right now. If you go over to anamericanhomestead.com right now, anamericanhomestead.com, you can sign up for free for our email list, and you will be immediately emailed a download link to our two free recipes for our promos. These are normally only available to our Patreons, and our Patreons get access to all of the cards, all the recipes, over 20 of them. There are going to be 20 of them, um, and we're working on sending them out to, out to them now now. And, but if you want to get the first two for free, go over to our website at AmericanHomestead.com. You can get two of Jamie's favorite recipes. Uh, one of them includes garlic and the other one is her favorite spice mix. Really easy to make. Check those out now. Download them for free over at AmericanHomestead.com by signing up for the email list. Check that out now. All right. I just need to say one more thing. I, I am personally really worried about our economy right now. I really think, you know, and we joke about the whole 99% and 95% and all this stuff and, and just the wearing the mask and stuff like that. I'm really worried because I really see the repercussions of really going overboard in a desperate attempt to get this president out of office, like him or hate him. Um, that's really what I see what's going on here. And you've, we've ruined an entire economy and this economy has been on the brink for a long time. It's been on the brink. Mathematically, it's been on the brink for a long time with our Federal Reserve continually pushing out uh, all of these dollars that basically gain interest and no way to pay, pay the interest off. 
and uh, our national debt just teetering on the brink. Um, no country survives, no country's economy survives with an economy that much in tatters, but it's been just been bolstered up by fake money for so long, and the can has been kicked down the road for so long. I really truly worried about um, the future of our economy. So, uh, man, I don't know. Tell me what you're doing in the comments below. Let me know. Hey, are you packing food? You got a water filter? Some of the things I've always pushed on this thing, homesteading is the ultimate survival prep. And that's why we've said this often on our channel. When you push homesteading or when you push preparedness to its ultimate logical conclusion, you end up on a homestead. And uh, I'm really worried for our country right now. I am. I'm really worried for our country. And I'm worried for those of you who have not yet taken the steps. Uh, and you can, I think, uh, you know, prepare still. There's still time. Find some food, find some dry goods, find a water filter, something that you can use to uh, make good water for your family and make and have food stores. I really think we're going to have some empty shelves coming up again when this economy really collapses. And I don't know if we're going to get to an election time or not. I don't know what's going to happen with our country. It's really scary out there. And people are just willing, really willing to burn the house down uh, rather than just deal with a president they don't like and, and some of his agenda. Um, it's a scary time we're living in. Very scary time. All right, guys. That's why stupid should hurt. If you're interested in the t-shirt, link in the description below. Because really, stupid ought to hurt. That's why we're in the situation we are in our country today. Because stupid just doesn't hurt enough. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below. I want to know what you're thinking. And, um, and make sure to hit the like button before you leave. Hit that like button. Do it right now. Right, right now. All right, guys. See you next time on American Homestead. Hey guys, I'm happy to introduce an American homestead sponsor, Zervita Zeal. Now, first off, I only accept sponsors from products that I use and believe in. My family uses Zeal mainly because we want to ensure a healthy immune system. You see, it's made up of only whole food concentrates and includes no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. The included sweetener is all natural from fruit and the stevia leaf. It's gluten-free, it's vegan, and it's kosher. In 2018, my youngest son was involved in a bike accident that resulted in the surgical removal of his spleen, and that's an important part of his immune system. And because we live on a farm, you can guess that having a healthy immune system for our family is very important. Some of the included ingredients are beetroot, chicory root, turmeric, moringa, blueberries, cranberry, goji berry, milk thistle, ginseng, alfalfa, broccoli, and so much more. It's these natural ingredients that can easily be made into a powerful and tasty drink that my family can make and feel good about. So sign up and give it a try today. Every purchase you make goes to help the homestead so that we can continue to make great homesteading videos for you. Link is in the description below. Go ahead, give it a try. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait. <laughs>